Hi guys, welcome to this FL Studio 20 tutorial. Now today the topic is using the FL Studio 20 plugin performance tool. Um, so if you want to access that, uh, you just need to have FL Studio 20.1, uh, the beta version, or if you're watching this from the future, then I'm sure it's available in the stable version. So just go to the view option, scroll down to the plugin performance monitor and click it to open it. Now on an empty project, you only see uh, one VSC plugin if you're using one of the basic templates. And that is because if I go to the master track and I open it, um, the mixer, sorry. If I go to the mixer, I go to master, I only have one VSC plugin. But if I open a demo project, for instance, then I'll have many more plugins here. Let me give you an example. All right, so I have now opened one of the FS Studio demo project, which is this one here from Gimbal and Sinan. And you can see now the full list of VSC plugins from all the uh, channels here, all their tracks are showing right there. Now you can see I have type, which is FX. All right, so there's difference between um, FX and since, and it shows you that. And then you have time here and you have total. Now the time corresponds to the time that each uh, VSC plugin spends being processed. Um, you can look at that as the time spent in the process buffer. So this is the time they spent recently. And then this total here is the added up value over time. So this will keep going up and up um, until you close the projects eventually. Now these, you can see them as relative values. Um, I think they are in nanoseconds or milliseconds. I'm not exactly sure. But if you click on the column names like times, then you can now sort them in the highest time spent recently or you can do the same thing with the total. You can see, um, you can list them um, sorting by um, the most time spent since the project was open. And the peak corresponds to the longest it took at one point uh, being processed. So the highest number, of course, indicates that the VSC plugin in question is taking more time being processed. So it's requiring more CPU power and it's more likely to slow down your projects or your PC as a whole. So you can look at ways at um, maybe changing your presets or simply finding ways of achieving the same effects using different techniques. So to give you an example, if you want to do side chaining, you can use the Fruity Limiter VSC plugin and you can also do that using the Gross Beats VSC plugin. So you can try and weigh in the pros and the cons and go for the plugin that takes the least amount of time being um, processed. So again, the highest number is what you should pay attention to. In, in this case, we have vocoder and reverb plugins as well. And of course, if ever something abnormal happens and you want to grab a screenshot, you can also click on that freeze button and it would freeze the whole thing. They will all, the numbers will stay static and uh, you can just grab a screenshot and maybe add it to the forum if you're asking for help or anything. So that's a quick tool. Um, it looks very simplistic, but it offers a lot of value when you want to improve the performance of FL Studio 20 and reduce or um, have a better understanding of CPU usage for all your VSC plugins. Okay, so if you like this video and you have any um, question, please make sure you drop your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time. Cheers.